All right, it's a sad day, but it's a good day. I have traded in the Jeep Rubicon. They made a deal for a car that I've wanted for a long time that I just couldn't pass it up. The Jeep has been fantastic. We've had it the last couple of years. Um, it's done a good job. It only has about 9,800 miles on it. Uh, it's just a fantastic model with all the options. But it's time to say goodbye. And it's time to say hello to another video. All right, so I trading, I'm trading in, they haven't picked up the Jeep yet, but they dropped off this uh, 2016 F-Type R. It is absolutely the most fun car I've ever owned. And if you know me, I've owned a few cars. Uh, recently had a real nice Rubicon Jeep that they're picking up 2020 the trade-in was too good I had to let it go because I've always wanted one of these and these have gotten to a price where I could finally get one but it is absolutely fantastic I took it to Maryland yesterday on a three and a half hours up and three and a half hours back that's where it got all dirty it was all washed up before I left but I wanted to get a, a video of this piece some of the surprises after watching many 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 hours of reviews on this car one the exhaust isn't quite as loud as i expected i have a 80 corvette that has side pipes and that is a very loud exhaust this is really great sounding it's almost perfect um, with the exhaust it's not so loud that you're gonna bug your neighbors when i drive the the 80 corvette around i i know i'm bugging the neighbors this one you can put on a quiet mode and it you, you hardly even hear it and then you put a little noisier mode and it's just about the right tone and sound surprise I had was the handling is great and the ride is not nearly as rough as I had expected from the reviews and yesterday going up to Maryland and back mixed driving a lot of 70 mile an hour some stop and go traffic up in the busier parts of Maryland I was getting over 30 and a half to 31 miles a gallon which I couldn't hardly believe and so on the way back I filled up and then filled up when I got home and I got 29.9 and that was mixed driving with some playing with a little bit not a lot but you know to get on it a couple of times and it just amazes me that this car with a supercharged 550 horsepower v8 gets 30 over 30 miles a gallon on the road on the highway in mixed driving my 2006 miata 400 less horsepower 1.8 liter motor i believe is about the same mileage on the same kind of trip so I don't know how that is happening. I first didn't believe it in the instruments and I had to check it by filling it up and it was just a short test and I'll do more tests on that, but it wasn't far off. The computer said 30.4 and I got 29.9 and it's a, not a great test, it's only 100 miles. So the, who knows that the valve, the cutoff is the same for each gas station, but absolutely fantastic car. Uh, if you built, like I said before, if you build a car for me, this is kind of what it looked like and this is how I drive. It is super fast, um, not over the top fast, but fast enough and it controls well and it handles well and it brakes well. I know there's a bazillion videos out there on the F-Type that say great things about it, but the surprising factors to me is the stereo works much better than I expected from the reviews. It handles and drives and rides much better than I expected from the reviews and it gets really good gas mileage for what it is. It just amazes me the, the gas mileage this thing gets. Um, sorry it's so dirty. I had it cleaned up before I went to Maryland, but it hit a little bit of rain, so there's some dirt on it. But got this from Broom. Did a, so far, it's been a great transaction. The car was represented well, and they're going to pick up my Jeep this week. And um, I'll let you know if everything works in the paperwork. I know some of the bad reviews that Vroom has is on the tags, and especially during the uh, COVID, or especially during this last year and a half. It's been tough for anybody to work with the DMVs. I know me personally, it's very tough to even get an appointment uh, with the DMV. So hopefully that works out and I get the tags, but absolutely fantastic. I am so thrilled with this car. I can't imagine how much I recommend it. I haven't driven the six. I haven't driven the four cylinder models, but the uh, R with the 550 horsepower V8 is just an amazing, an amazing car.